Okay, come on. Let's go get us some kind of trash can and take it out and burn it so we'll be able to cook in it. Come on. Let's go. Okay, here we are at Lowe's. And we're looking at trash cans, specifically the metal ones. If you're going to cook in one. This is the 31 gallon. Just about your full size trash can. What you want to make sure though, whenever you're getting a trash can and you're going to use it for trash can cooking. Some metal trash cans have a rubber sealant seam down those lines on the inside and around the bottom. You want to make sure the trash can you get does not have that. Of course this is zinc coated metal, uh, which is toxic. And that's what we're going to do today is get a trash can and we're going to show you how to burn it so you can cook in it safely or cook out of it safely it's 31 gallon it's full size I'm not really gonna get a huge one or normal size one today I'm wanting something more like this a smaller one easy to manage easy to burn six gallon as you can see but you want to look inside there's no rubber seal anywhere in it I mean you, you can still burn it off but you're just adding more toxins to flames the fumes and so forth and so forth but anyway that's a taking a look at it and that's the tip for your trash can make sure it doesn't have the rubber sealant on the seams all right let's get this take it out and burn it all right hey everyone james here please subscribe to my channel if you like my channel hit that like button and be sure to hit that bell for the notifications every time I come out with something new. You'll be notified. Have a good one. Stay safe. Peace out. Alright. picnic table that sounds good all right all right beautiful yeah so what we're gonna do we've got our six gallon trash pail I'm just gonna rinse it out with some river water get the residue whatever might be in there yep just rinse it out there. And we're gonna go burn it. Get all that toxic zinc coating off of it. Alright. Let's go get us a camp spot going. Okay, so there's the picnic table, some of my stuff. There's a little fire pit that was already there. I've got all my wood unloaded and everything. I brought those big pieces of concrete to put around my fire. Next step, dig that out because I don't know what's in there. Plus I want to get into the ground at least three or four inches so I'll have a good bed of coals. So um, I don't have a GoPro with me at the moment or stand. So I'm having to use my phone and I'm having to hold it at the same time. It's just me out here. But uh, all right, so I'm going to dig that out. And... Uh, Get everything kind of set up, get a fire going, and start a burn on the trash pail, trash bucket. All right, see you all in a minute. Okay, so as you can see, I got well down into the dirt. That's what you want to do, is make it deeper in the center. That way, you'll have a deeper bed of coals. Your fire will work better and it'll make it easier in the morning to start another fire but anyway all right hang tight all right so you can see I got some sticks in there built up in a tripod formation and I fixed to light it up I want to burn the inside separately 
before I burn the bottom outside and around the outside because if I get too much fire going inside and outside I don't want to completely burn it up or melt it but so I'm gonna get that inside started and then I'm gonna work on the main fire all right all right <clears throat> so from my main campfire of course I got it dug out I got these two logs separated with some rocks I stuffed it with paper sacks I always save my paper sacks for when I go to the store or a fast food place and keep them on handy for building fires when I'm camping of course this is not a survival video by any means but I, I do get into that stuff and then smallest sticks you can find put those right on top of there build it up a little bit because the smaller stuff's always gonna catch on first that's just a fact all right now once I got that loaded up then I'm gonna go across it you get the picture like I said I'm holding having to do this one-handed holding the phone but yeah just build a little cross section all the way across because you got that all those sacks down inside there and you can use cardboard too you can save cardboard it comes in real handy Comes in real handy. Sorry, I keep moving the phone around so much. But, yeah, we got that going on there. Let's see if we can find another little thing here. Yep. Then I'm going to throw some lighter fluid off in there. And we'll have a little fire going. All right. Of course, that bucket is still burning on the inside. I want to burn real good because, uh, like I said, it's pretty much got that burned off inside there. When, it, when you first start it in your bucket, or even first put your bucket on your main fire, when that zinc burns off there, it's going to be black smoke, black toxic smoke. But I don't know if you can tell, but now the smoke is, is normal color, white or gray, whatever you want to call it. And uh, that's when you know that you, you're getting there as far as that oxide coating being burnt off all right hang tight let's get this uh get this main thing going all right yeah i meant to mention also once i've squirted all my charcoal lighter fluid up in there and all around it and on it it's a good idea most of the time to let it soak in into the sticks for a minute that way it don't just burn right off anyway another little tip there hang tight and shazam all right yeah it'll be all good here in just a few minutes this is a beautiful place out here though this is the place uh where i made that wacky video bigfoot haunted campground thing because this is adams tennessee uh just right down the road actually just right down that way just a couple miles is the bell witch bell witch mansion and property and cave and all that stuff but uh, anyway, all right, let's get back to some fire. That's right. All right, still burning inside of the pail. Uh, that fire's doing great. But no, I mean, I can't stress enough just how you want to burn that really, really good on the inside, even though you're going to burn it on the outside because the inside is where you're food's gonna normally be and all them fumes and toxic toxic fumes and smoke if you didn't burn it would just soak right into whatever it is you're cooking and probably make you pretty sick and i know there's all kind of videos of people uh or you, i've seen some in the past cooking full-size trash cans like turkeys and chickens and stuff like that but uh you know i, I just nah, i wouldn't eat anything out of that but so definitely burn the inside very very well i mean that's been going what hour and a half couple hours now and uh just want the inside to be very very well very well done and of course later on when we spread that out over there we'll uh burn the outside <clears throat> which is already scorched i mean it's burning on the inside helps to have to not burn the outside so much i mean it's already cooked that outside 
pretty good, which will make it burn off even easier and faster. That black area right there is where the sticker was for the brand name. But anyway, yep, you want to cook that inside of that bucket or trash can very, very well. Okie dokie. All right. Hey, everyone. Well, I'm still out here burning the bucket. And it's a process, and I want to do it right. So I probably won't be cooking anything in the trash can uh, this evening because uh, I got out here just a little afternoon, and uh, it's uh, almost 3:15 now. And it's, you know, of course, the sun's fixed to go down. And contrary to popular belief, you don't want to be cooking a bunch of food in the middle of the night or when the sun goes down out in the country where there's animals that already smelled you when you first got out here. Uh, right, uh, so I'm just going to burn the bucket and I've got uh, some little snacks and stuff I'm going to have for dinner. <laughs> Smoked oysters in a can. Hey, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. But in the morning, uh, I'll do a little bit of camp breakfast, but uh, not necessarily in the trash can. But uh, we'll do some trash can cooking. That's why the whole process of me doing this is for to show you how to burn your bucket, your trash can. You gotta do it real well. Cause, uh, and it takes a while. Cause that's some thick stuff on there. <laughs> and it's, it's toxic. It puts off some fumes and some black smoke and yeah. You don't want no part of that. So, uh, I'm just gonna relax, listen to some music. Uh, maybe write a song or something. But, uh, I'll check back in here with you ever so often this evening. Maybe we can hear some coyotes or maybe even see some deer. There's a lot of deer out here. Anyway, all right, hang tight. Okay, so the bucket is just about done. On the outside, it doesn't look like it, but trust me, it is. Uh, it, it just looks different because it cooked from the inside out first. Right, I left all those in there whenever I turn it. I'm gonna turn it one more time, and this is right. about another five minutes on that side, and then I'll set it straight up and set the bottom on the fire. Cook the, the outside bottom for about five minutes, and then that that bucket is done, ready to be cooked in. Anyway, hang tight. We're getting there. All right. All right, this bucket is pretty much done. Uh, just finishing up the bottom of it. I mean, I just flipped it on the bottom uh, probably five minutes ago. It's been burned all the way around. It, I mean, it doesn't really look like it, but it is. And because, uh, like I said earlier, it had been burned from the inside out first. But, uh, yep. Yeah. It is ready to be cooked in, or used for cooking. It's a six gallon metal, well, pail trash can. It was in the trash can section. Sold as a trash can, I guess. I don't know what you call it, but. Uh, yep, that is pretty much done. And uh, so, next thing I want to talk about is whatever you've got going on with all that. You don't want to leave that sitting out. I don't care, uh, you know, even though there's no meat or anything, that, but <clears throat> I mean, like these, you know, these tortillas and whatever. There's animals out here, raccoons especially. They're little feisty critters. Yeah, that's the last thing you want is something to be scurrying around outside your tent or whatever you're staying in or lean to, you know, whatever you're trying to be survival man. But, uh, Put that up inside, you know, coolers and inside your vehicle and all that before you lay down when you're out camping. And, uh, yeah, that'll, you know, way cut down on that. And, uh, for sure. All right. Yep. Yep. Bucket's done. Pail. Uh, trash can, whatever you want to call it. I did not do the lid because it takes a long time to do it correctly, the right way. 
for just a regular, even a six gallon pail like that. And this is, I mean, this is your basic little tiny trash can lid. It's coated in the same stuff. And I don't have a bonfire going and I don't have all the wood for all that anyway. But I mean, I'm just saying, I didn't burn that. Really no need to, I mean, I probably will eventually down the line. But for right now, main concern is that because that's my oven. That's my trash can cooking oven. All right. Just want to throw that in there. But uh, I think some deer is probably going to be showing up here for too long. All right. We'll see. All right. Well, fire is going pretty good still. Uh, darker and all get out. I haven't heard any activity from the coyotes. But uh, just kind of chilling out. I'm going to go ahead and just lay my head down for the for the night. Probably going to lay down beside this uh, warmth right here for a little bit. It's about 39 degrees out here right now. But uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right. Peace out. Okay, there's the fire. You can't see this. Hang on. Crap. There is a big pack of coyotes right in front of me. Oh, you can't see that. Oh, sorry. You see the flashlight. Right. Oh, yeah. Straight up in front of me. A big old pack of coyotes. Hang on. Okay, I had the wrong flashlight. I had the 250 lumen. That is the 1500 lumen at 1500 lumens. A damn gum train just went by at the exact moment that pack of coyotes uh, was running around uh, laughing and whatever they were doing. But anyway, yeah, I wasn't kidding. Put your food up. Don't sleep with beef jerky in your pocket. <laughs> I mean, there's some wild animals out here. I don't know if you heard them right before the train coming. I'm sure I hear them again, because once they come around, they're not going anywhere, and they come out at night. So it's like a wolf or something, you know. That's the 1500 lumen zoomed in, or I mean, zoomed out. Zoomed in, zoomed out. That's it zoomed in. It's like a floodlight. Uh, I mean, it lights up, yeah, fire, you can see that, I don't know if it'll focus, but, uh, right, that's zoomed out, that's a floodlight, zone, zoom, yep, bam, right, but yeah, coyotes, uh oh, I just saw a pair of eyes right over there, holy moly, yeah, they're, they're around, they're around, they, they know I'm here, and they're hungry. But anyway, well, anyway, I know it, right? Can't fit out in the country. Hang tight. Oh, sun's coming up. <laughs> and it's a brisk morning. Mm, all right. Got us some good coals up underneath there. Gonna get that going and whip up some vittles. Get some breakfast going, that's right. Alright, this is going to be a quick, simple breakfast. We got some smoked baby rope sausage, some pepper jack cheese, and some flour tortillas, the puffy kind. And we got some queso cheese, and we got some paste for county sauce. We're going to make us some breakfast tacos. Alright. <clears throat> so we got our little griddle going over there. Gonna take up some sausages. Now this is already cooked, but it's just better to have it warm. You know what I'm saying? Put those on there, and I'm just cooking for one. So, you know, that would it be? No big deal, man. Got us some sausages going on there. Alright. Mm. 
That smells good this morning. Smell a vision. Uh, no doubt. These won't take very long at all. Like I said, it's already cooked. Sausages are done. Well, now we're just gonna put that on there. Yep, let that get nice and warm. And that is already nice and warm, as you can see. There's the sausage, and some cheese. Put some cheese on there, man. Just like that. Yeah, yeah. Pepper Jack cheese. We'll roll it up here in a minute. Let's see what's going on. Mm, okay. Got a sausage on there. Now yeah, for some queso. And we're just gonna pour this on there. Some paste picante sauce. You can use any kind you want. Come on there. All right. We have ourselves a breakfast taco. Buddy. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Sun. Mm. Yep. Mm. Very good. All right. Fixing to head out of here in a little bit. Have a good one. Stay safe. Peace out.